Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Kim. Hi, this Mark. is Mark. <laughs> I can do this. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kim Marie with Urban Mist from Your Dog Productions, and I'm here today with Mark Hackle, who played the sheriff in our film. So we're going to chit chat a little bit about your experience on the movie. So, do so you remember the first time you met me? <laughs> yeah, you actually started working out here. I remember you were part of the Explorer program, the Sheriff's Explorer program, and that's kind of a youth program where kids kind of get an interest in law enforcement and they want to see what uh, the connection they have, and it's a pretty involved program that we have here, and I remember you were part of that, yeah. and all of a sudden, to come find out that you're working as a summer help here and uh, working inside the facility, kind of, I guess, expanding your interest in, in criminal justice or law enforcement. So, it was fun. I mean, you were very youthful at the time, you know, kind of that starry-eyed, uh, you know, excitable kid that was just taking on as much as you could. You're like a little sponge, you know, trying to trying to take yeah. on, you know, is this something I want to do? Where do I want to go? And, you know, what could I be as far as, you know, the law enforcement? And so, it was, uh, it was, it was pretty exciting to watch that because some of the younger kids that do come in here, um, you know, many of them have that same interest, but there are others that you're just looking at thinking, okay, they're really here just kind of filling a spot. Uh, you didn't have that. That's why it surprised me when all of a sudden I got that call and you said, uh, I'm moving to California. I'm uh, thinking about pursuing, you know, this uh, movie interest or producing a movie. I was kind of surprised to hear that because I thought, sure, you were going to get into law enforcement, but glad for you at the same time because you were following uh, another passion. Yeah, I remember making that call to you and you said, well, I want a role in your first movie. Yeah. Was, so when I called you for the, for Urban Myths, I, I said, well, kind I, of a, I made my first movie. Do you that want was it? kind of a joke, too. I was just kind of like tongue in cheek, <laughs> just saying, if you ever do, I, I would like to uh, I'd like to be in that movie, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, you started really rolling was, on the movie. and then you, you challenged called. me. I had to do a movie just yeah. to prove to you. I, I wasn't sure if you were serious, too. When you first called and said, you know what, hey, I've got this movie I'm producing, I'm putting it together, and uh, yeah, I'd like to have you in it, I thought, okay, is she like serious or is she just like uh, thinking about it or, or what? <laughs> and a uh, conversation with some people after I got off the phone thinking, you know, this this would be interesting if she really does do that. And then uh, when you finally said, yeah, come on out, here's the, the, the date and times you need to be out here on the set and uh, get geared up in your, your law enforcement uniform and uh, driving on out. And when I got to the set, I come to the realization, my gosh, she did do this, you know, <laughs> and it is happening. It is a reality. So now it's showtime and I got to try to pretend like I'm the sheriff. So <laughs> it was exciting. Though. It was fun. It was, I was glad for you watching that whole thing play out. Right. Come a long way oh. from that uh, youthful experience of being in here as a, I guess, explorer with the Macomb County Sheriff's Department right. and uh, working there as a summer help to now producing uh, your first uh, film. But I think that helped build my character and helped me to have the confidence to then step out into this industry. Just having that youthful experience of being part of the Explorers program, then being a part of being able to work within the jail, and then my whole law enforcement experience from that point on. Well, see there, it all started at the Macomb County Jail. It did. So, <laughs> but on the right side of the bars. <laughs> <laughs> How was it when being on my film, on my movie set? You know, I wasn't nervous at all coming on out there. It was fun. Putting the uniform back on was exciting, you know, because I'd been away from that for a couple of years. But uh, being out there, I tell you what really hit me was watching the other actors and actresses that were there. And, uh, you know, the, the quality and the talent that was there, you realized, whoa, I am an amateur. This is something new to me because they really got into their roles. And I think as people will see when they watch this movie, uh, even I was, when I wasn't on set, I was just kind of watching some of the emotions coming through some of the, uh, the characters and the actors there and watching them get ready for that emotional I guess if you will connection you know with the audience during you know the actual uh, movie itself boy I could feel it I could feel their excitement I could feel their uh, their anxiety uh, when some of them were starting to cry you almost wanted to cry so the actors and actresses that came together on the set I was uh, I was surprised by and it somewhat intimidated me it made me step back thinking <laughs> uh oh are they gonna be watching and looking at me realizing this guy's a rookie I mean he definitely is uh, is green to what we do out here Wow that's great and that's so insightful because I was wondering what you felt and what was it? I know you were a little a little nervous because you had come up to me at one point and said whoa these are real actors <laughs> yeah and then to watch it I mean when you're when you're watching behind the actual like right now you know there's a camera that's on us when you stand right. behind the camera and you're watching and you can see the quality of the shot itself and you're seeing these actors you know play out their roles and then they you know cut and they come back to it and I'm thinking to myself that was, it was spot on it was perfect what do you mean do it again you know but then I come to realize they're trying to look at different angles and different sets when you're watching it though you're actually like looking at it as if you're in a movie theater thinking this is uh, this is real stuff this is high quality 
So, you know, that made you sit back and think, okay, I, I got to make sure I don't mess right. this up. I don't want to be the one that, you know, makes this, you know, look bad or whatever. So, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I haven't yet got, you know, calls for other movies, but uh, we'll, oh, see. See. we'll see. Well, maybe after, after, this, one airs. after this one airs. Yeah, when this one airs, maybe I'll get a couple Your calls. career will go a whole nother direction, right. too. I had to get me some kind of a, you know, manager or somebody. What do they call those? An people? agent. Yeah, you're going to need an agent. See, that's how green I am to this. I don't even know. But great job. I tell you, it was exciting to be out there. The thing that I think got me the most was the realization of being there, you know, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and then watching this thing play out because there's different scenes and they cut from different areas and it's not all one piece together as most right. people might think it is. I mean, you're, you're, you're out in the woods at one point, you're in a house at another point, you're in a, a restaurant, you know, and it's like you're all different places and then come to realize it's like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning the next morning. And you've been <laughs> up all night and you're watching these, you know, these young actors and actresses and some of them a little bit older, um, kind of like staying awake and getting ready and just kind of engaging offset and yet they're prepared once it's uh, game time and they're actually out there trying to do it so that was very interesting to watch and uh, boy by the time I drove away to come back home oh you had uh, to be exhausted north, I was but uh, I wasn't you know I think it's that experience in law enforcement working midnight many years oh. <laughs> uh, kind of got you used to that but the reality was uh, you know you were you were kind of like processing it all I was you know as to how this you know actually works right. and you know what this might mean to you you know and I'm excited for you proud of you this has got to be something as you watch this play mm, out hope people watch the movie and they like what they see I think Hope they're so. going to from you know from what I seen out there on the set I haven't yet seen the movie myself and I'm uh -oh. kind of excited <laughs> I'm excited so nervous a little bit when it comes to my role but excited no you did great it looks great okay good I was worried about yes, that no, so. yes. <laughs> but I appreciate the role I appreciate the opportunity well, I appreciate you coming out and doing it and taking the time and out of your schedule I know you have a very busy schedule yeah well I hope people get a chance to come on out and take a look at this uh, when they see it in and around their their areas and uh, obviously when it's uh, you know made for TV uh, right. Into this. So, <laughs> well, that job. and also the fact that we're it's going to be a catalyst to uh, help charities and that we're going to be able to do fundraisers with it. So that I think that's a, it's a great platform for that type of media and outreach too. Yeah. It says a lot for so yourself as well. It's kind of fun to be able to, do, to that. do that. Especially with kids. I know you have a, yeah, uh, a, a passion for kids. You yes. Do. Well, we all do. So do you. Thanks. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. So can do you have any words of wisdom that you can share if somebody's watching this? that's looking to go in a direction or well it kind you of always like gave a, me great advice well kind of like the, the advice you followed in life without really anybody having to tell you I mean I think uh, we all kind of get there at some point in time and it's just like you know when do we I mean we all have this uh, you know this interest in wanting to do things and uh, wanting to challenge ourselves and try but I think sometimes the biggest uh, setback for us is that own setback or that barrier we put in place and it's that fear, fear of failure you know sure we have limitations in life we all have limitations you know I'll never be a NBA a basketball star you know there's some kind of limitations I might have there but the reality is you know what you can't let uh, a fear of failure be that limitation so in other words uh, if you have a passion you have an interest and you have the ability to have something happen don't worry about failure attempt it try it and see if it's something that you succeed at because if and when you do I mean it is the most uh, Im I guess enjoyable feeling you can ever have and so I think that's what you're experiencing right now there had to be a little bit of doubt <laughs> a little bit of concern a little bit of fear sure. you know will I fail what'll happen um, but yet you took it on and uh, here you created a movie which many people probably would uh, would dream of you know that uh, would have an interest in and you know you did it and um, had you not have even tried because of fear of failure this wouldn't be a reality true that's great thank you you bet better you kidding me anytime